Our next guest is going to make fun of himself a lot, but you're going to enjoy it. Give it up for Tommy Smart. How does she know I'm going to make fun of myself? Have you guys must have seen my act before? Should. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's talk about the weather. Um, yeah, it's really warm out, and I just wore these lounging pants. So glad I got. <laughs> so glad I got dressed up for our live streaming on Instagram. Big show here. Yeah. Could have got a TV deal out of this, you know. But no, he wore lounging pants and a very outdated band shirt. Um, Nirvana. All right, fuck that shit. Okay, let's make fun of myself. So I'm physically <laughs> retarded. <laughs> Yeah, so like, look at why I look, look I'm about to come up to you and say like, "Hey guys, you ready for dessert tonight?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, people see it all the time. Yeah, Tommy, stop making fun of yourself, man. It's not attractive. You know, have some more self-esteem. Chicks love that. You know, it's not a self-esteem thing, man. I just really don't want to get interrupted by the two people in front of me that are always just like, "Do you think he knows he's?" <laughs> Don't say it, Charlize. Don't say it. But no, it's distracting. I can't get beyond the laugh. The arm is so distracting. The arm. Yeah, I know. I'm that way. I know. I know. And you know what's funny too is like able-bodied people. They oh, they ask me sometimes. Do you like hang out with other retards? And I'm like. No, dude, there's not a support group for this shit. <laughs> and besides, I'm like 95% able-bodied, 5% fucked up, you know? If anything, I'd be the hype man for the retards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like the other day I was at the gym, and I saw a guy, he had like no legs, right? And he was trying to put like his prosthetic legs on, along with his prosthetic penis. And he was kind of starting to cry, and I was just like, come on, man, don't worry about it. You know, I know you lost your legs, but think of it this way. No more leg day. So see, there's some benefits. I mean, people, I get laughs, man. I get laughs. Not by from the comic in the back, but you know, I laugh. Um, yeah, so I can get away with shit that you able-bodied people can't, you know, like working in an elevator and making fun of retards. Uh, I'm going to slap on the wrist, but you know, I can't really feel it that much. Um, yeah, it's still there. Uh, cool. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so you guys go to the gym a lot? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, yeah. yeah, I can tell. Uh, I don't know if that was harassing or funny, but you know, whatever. Oh, no. <laughs> Please don't cancel me, anybody. I don't have any money. <laughs> Lose my job before I can get on the Tonight Show, please. Uh, um, anyway, yeah, so what was I doing? Um, yeah, so I hit the gym a lot, you know. It's pretty fun. I get like a big machismo thing out of it. <laughs> yeah, like nobody can fuck me kind of thing, right? And um, yeah, so I'm at the gym one day, and you know, it's a big bodybuilder's place, so I'm deadlifting like 200 pounds, you know, because retard strength. <laughs> And, and I look up and this, uh, I see this guy, he's like an insta-twink, you know, he's like very skinny and he tries to take a photo with like 50 pound dumbbells and hops over yeah, and goes like, and try to lift up like 10 pounds and he's really struggling with it, right, trying to bench that shit. And so I just walk over just to fuck with him and like knock it over and it falls, he goes per plank. And he just goes, hey man, what are you doing, man? Why are you gonna be like that long with the heavy weights, bro, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just look at him and just go like, well, dude, what are you doing lifting heavy weights like walking past, bitch? Yeah. So he dropped the dumbbells on my feet and walked away. But that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is I laugh in the face of danger. Just because I laugh in front of you all, because I know I can still take every single one of you. All right, that was kind of half-baked there. Uh, let me do one more before I leave. Um, uh, so I have a coworker who told me that he pimped out his ex-girlfriend to be a porn star. And she skyrocketed the fame in the past two years, and I didn't know who she was. And I was like, bullshit, I've been sober for porn for two years. You know what that means? And like two years in porn star years, that's like seven years for every one year for a dog. Like, <laughs> two years for a porn star is like 30 years. By that logic, every girl I jerked off to two years ago is dead. Uh, turns out I did know who she was, and I was actually impressed. Uh, <laughs> she's a horrible actress, but you know. Pay for those tits, so 
I think I'm done here, people. Anyway, this was <laughs> satisfying. <laughs> Pound it. You're going to feel it if I hit you hard. You said so yourself. <laughs>